Hi, I'm Frank Reich. I'm the inventor of Tough Oil. This is the product that's been all over the world. We're international. We're in almost every civilized country that's around, it includes Russia, if you call that civilized. But the, we were using the same green Ford for all of our testing. We were testing Hinderust, our newest product on the Ford, and we ran into trouble with the 401 engine code not too long ago. And I'm going to take you into this and show you how to get rid of that problem. This is a 1999 Ford that we're using for all of our Hinderust tests. It's a nice machine and we were testing underneath on top and everybody you can think of to see how we do on the rust. We've already treated the inside and showed you what we did here. I got to check your engine code on the uh, front of the car not too long ago. We put a, uh, a, a, a reader on the uh, computer and found out we had a 401 error code. What that means is the exhaust gas recirculator wasn't working properly. So we decided to fix it because and we couldn't pass for inspection because of that. So what I wanted to do is get this up so we can pass inspection. It was a very important car, and I can't afford to junk it out. So the first thing we did was, was clean and uh, replace the uh, exhaust gas recirculator. I took the one out of there that was in there, cut it open, and there wouldn't seem to be anything wrong with it. A little dirty. <clears throat> so I cleaned it out. Next thing we did, this is the uh, vacuum regular case that takes the signal from the uh, computer sends a vacuum over to here and operates the valve. We replaced that, no effect. We still had the 401 code. So then we disconnected the intake manifold right here, went in and cleaned out the manifold, which was a disaster. It was chock full of carbon. We had to go in with a hammer and a chisel to work it loose. So that was pretty bad. The minute I did that, I said, oh boy, we fixed the problem. So we put it back on again and I'll be damned if that 401 code didn't keep coming up. Then I decided that we'd have to get the dif differential pressure regulator, which is down underneath here. And you got, it was designed by some diabolical fiend at Ford who decided that you had to have a smaller hand, about half the size of mine, and with two wrist bones to get in there. I finally went in and got the damn thing out, brought it out. We put a new one on because we figured, well, that absolutely has to be the problem. And I, we didn't get the, we still got the 401 code. Well, this is starting to get me pretty upset because we couldn't pass inspection. Now the question is what to do next. Well, I went back and sulked for about three days because I couldn't figure this one out. And uh, I went on the web, tried to find everything I could find. A lot of information, a lot of people having this problem. So then I decided to get a new uh, differential pressure device in there. That didn't work. So then I started thinking, and I'll show you what I was thinking about. Now the way this differential pressure device works is it takes it picks up a differential pressure across an orifice in the exhaust manifold here, the high pressure and low pressure, it reads up here, and sends that information to the computer. Now it dawned on me that since everything else was plugged up, pretty good chance that that was plugged up too down there with that orifice with all the crud that was in the system, and that it was sending out a very high error message to the computer. So I figured to get and see if I could jump ahead of the problem. So what I did was I, I put a T across here with a needle valve so I could adjust and re, relo, re, reduce the pressure a little bit on the device. Let's show you what I did. Okay, the first thing I did was I put in a couple of extender tubes on this thing because I was not going to go back under there and put that in and out every time something had to be looked at because it was such a pain in the neck. You have no idea how difficult that was. So then what I do is I made up a T, put it across the lines, and put a needle valve on, and I've got the needle valve open just roughly exactly one turn. And all of a sudden, things started behaving themselves. I'll be damned if I didn't figure, apparently outwitted the machine. Now this, and then to see whether we were still legal or not, I put a T connection on here, on the top of the uh, valve, so when a va vacuum shows up here, it will appear over here on this pressure gauge. Now what I'm going to do is take you out for a ride in the car now and you can watch it work. It turns out we fixed the problem very nicely that the car is now with past inspection and those who are 2014 on this right now we're in good shape. So we jumped ahead of the whole problem. Now I wonder about how many vehicles have gone to the junkyard because of something like this. It's almost impossible to get down there to, to service those orifices and this now shows us the neat fix to jump around that problem if the pressure's out of range. 
and we're going to tape this to the windshield. Then we're going to take it. We're going to go out for a ride, and we'll show you what it does in the car. We're on Route 17 now. I'm cruising at about 55 miles an hour, legal speed limit. You'll notice that the uh, exhaust gas recirculates. I take my foot off the pedal, it goes down. Put my foot on the pedal, it goes back up again, and then it clicks in, and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to. Be. So what we just say now, we fix the the whole system. We've eliminated the 401 code, so it's legal, and we know everything is operating. So this puts me back in a good mood again. And I'm not mad at the diabolical fiends in Ford who put that uh, valve down where nobody could get at it. So now you've seen it. It was a good project. And I'm glad it all turned out just nicely. That's it. We're going to look at it. instrument here that will uh, uh, record the computer code so we can see where we're at. Now we were coming up with a 401 code. I'm going to put it on right now. The engine's running. Okay, it's reading the computer right now. It takes a minute or two. It's, it's not in any big hurry. The, um, now this will start the blinking a few minutes and everything will come up okay. You have to do this with the key on and or the engine running. It says zero detect. Everything's okay. No 401 code. The machine's in a good mood. It's idling, running like a Swiss watch, and we've apparently fixed the whole problem. Happy.